Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Today's a TBR and it's an exciting one for me personally because it's for Legendathon, which is a super chill new readathon that is happening in December um, that is run by Jean over at Jean's Thoughts. Um, Jean is a booktuber, book reviewer, author, and recent getter of PhD in ancient history. Um, and they're running this readathon that is all about reading books around myths, legends, and folklore. Three of my favourite things. So I thought I would film a quick little video with some of the things that I am planning on reading the week in December that is... 9th to the 15th. 9th to the 15th. Definitely the 9th to the 15th. Um, so yeah, so uh, we're just going to be reading lots of books that are to do with myths and legends and I'm very excited. Um, so without further ado, these are some of the things that I'm planning on reading. Jean has put together a list of prompts, which I will put up on the screen, maybe here, um, that you can use to choose the books. I haven't used that much, but I actually think I'm hitting quite a lot of the prompts anyway with the books that I've selected. It's an ambitious list for a week, um, but we will see how we get on. First up, I have never read The Song of Achilles, and I know it is beloved. I'm a bit scared to read it because it's so hyped up in my head. So, um, as you might guess, this is about Achilles. Um, this is Madeline Miller's retelling of the story of Achilles. And uh, in it, Achilles and Patroclus are um, lovers, I think. So we've got some great queer rep. Um, I'm really excited about this one. I loved Circe. Um, and I've, I've heard some people say that they prefer this and some people say that they prefer Cersei, which like, I think she's got a bit of a Sally Rooney thing going on where there's like two camps. So I'm hoping I'm going to love this one even more than Cersei. But to be honest, I really, really like Cersei. So even if I don't love it as much, that's okay. So looking forward to getting to that. So obviously you've got some Greek myth and then this is, this is a nostalgia trip for me and this could massively backfire. This is The Moon Riders by Teresa Tomlinson. I loved this book so much when I was like a tween. Like I adored it. This is also, um, I, th yeah, I'm pretty sure, this is me not even remembering it. I'm pretty sure this links to the Siege of Troy, I think it follows the Amazons who were nothing to do with the Amazon River, but the Amazons that were in and around the Siege of Troy. Um, and it's all about like warrior women and like Cassandra is definitely in it. So yeah, it's gotta be Troy. We will remind, but in my head, this is amazing. But obviously it has been a couple of decades since I last read it. So, um, we'll see. So I'm like, again, excited, but nervous because I really don't want to ruin this for myself. Um, but we're going to give it a go. Um, the next one is I'm playing a little bit fast and loose with folklore here. Um, but it's a book I really want to get to. Um, and it is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night by Jen Campbell. Um, I love Jen Campbell on booktube, but I've never actually read any of her books. Um, and I really, really, really like her. So I'm hoping I'm gonna like this. These are sort of modern fairy tale retellings. So like we're folklore adjacent. Um, but yeah, Jen was actually the very first person who I ever watched on booktube. And it was when I'd finished reading their book for the by Ali Smith. Are we going to do a video on here where I don't talk about Ali Smith? Possibly not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we also um, totally lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, so I, Jen Campbell, that's what I was saying. So uh, 
Jen had a video where she was talking about there but for because I'd finished reading it and just had one of those moments where you only finish a book and you're like I must immediately hear other people talking about this book on my mind is gonna just seize up so I found that video and was like this is a thing that people do people talk about books on the internet um I'm elderly I'm sorry um but yeah so I'm really excited to get to some of Jen's books the next one is um is another YA actually I'm not a big YA reader but I'm just like surprising myself left right and centre here this is The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna um which has elements of West African mythology I think I think specifically Sierra Leone um but yeah I'm really looking forward to getting that and lovely spread just love a spread um yeah so got this one I'm hoping like so this is short stories these two are YA I think I think I'll be all right I think I'm going to be able to get through these um oh I forgot something wait there if we have time I also have the Penelope ad by Margaret Atwood um which is a retelling <laughs> of the Odyssey from the perspective of Penelope, Odysseus's wife, who is, um, let's just say Odysseus, not an excellent husband. Um, so, and that's just a dinky thing. Ooh! And it's like, it's all, look, look, look. I reckon we can do this. I think we can get through this stack in a week, easy. Um, and the final physical book I've got is um, this, which is a um, publication by Cunning Folk. This is that Earth issue, and this has, I mean, it says that, look. Magic, mythology, folklore, the occult. So I'm bang on with this. And I actually think Jen Campbell has a piece in here as well. But it's got, um, it's just beautiful and it's in full colour, and it's got stories, it's got artwork, and um, one of the prompts on Jean's prompt list for the readathon was to read a kind of genre or style that you don't usually read. I really would like to get more into reading um, this sort of publication, like kind of anthology, kind of magazine-ish. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, there's Jen's. There's Jen's poem in there. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to that. I also had a couple of books and realised the names of the book are on my phone, which I'm currently filming on. Um, so there are some audiobooks that I like quickly earmarked, um, but I think they're more like anthology type, like collections of stories from different cultures, because again, that was one of the prompts. Um, so I think... There was a collection of Japanese mythology and a few other bits because I normally have an audiobook on the go as well so I'll definitely be able to hit up at least one maybe two titles in a week. I will maybe insert <laughs> the, the covers of the books that I earmarked on script because uh, this has been a fail. Um, so yeah those are, those are the books that I'm planning on getting to. Can we read this in a week? Yeah. Um, one of the prompts is to read a book that is recommended to you. Um, so I thought um, I would recommend some books that I have read in case you wanted to take part uh, in some form. So uh, I have some books that I've read recently-ish um, and enjoyed. So um, one I've already mentioned actually, which is Circe by Madeline Miller. So this follows the story of Circe who is the witch that Odysseus uh, ends up staying on the witch uh, that Odysseus ends up staying on the island with in the Odyssey when he should be heading back home to his wife, Penelope. Um, so, uh, but this is really, really great. I, I loved it. And I didn't know that much about Circe at all going into it. So if you um, have read quite a lot of mythology, this is one of the less 
told um gods goddesses she's a goddess i think yeah she is um this is great for that um i actually have my book club later uh where we are discussing she who became the sun by shelly parker chan and this has it's not like as explicitly a myth kind of retelling but it is very kind of set in um chinese culture and there are some sort of legend vibes yeah let's call them legend vibes um this is great um i didn't like love 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 it but i think uh that was nothing to do with the book and everything to do with me um i'll talk about it in my november wrap up and then finally if you wanted a bit of non-fiction um another writer that i don't stop banging on about natalie haynes has this book can you see that there there you go pandora's jar um which i love and is the sort of book that i would definitely go back and read again um because terrible memory um but basically she tracks um the perceptions of women in greek mythology over time and what they mean how they have come to represent different things and how their stories have maybe been adapted um because often what would happen is that they'd start incredibly strong like the women in greek myth at the time that these stories were first being circulated were strong and then at some point people people decided uh that nah nah too too strong we gotta we gotta rein those ladies in a bit so um it's fascinating and um it's written with the characteristic sort of expertise but warmth and wit and accessibility this is a super this is not an academic text this is a super super accessible um sort of behind the scenes of greek mythology and i really really recommend it so there we go if you are going to be taking part in legend of thorn like let me know uh, in a comment down below because i'd love to know what you are planning on reading or if you have any great myth legend retellings uh particularly from other cultures i i had a little kind of google around and it's not always easy it feels like when you search for myth legend you get a lot of ya fantasy and i'm very aware that i i actually have two ya fantasies in here which is more than i would normally like that is a higher proportion than i would normally have but i think it's because so many retellings tend to hit that audience so if you have like more contemporary literary definitely adult retelling suggestions i would love to know what they are um because love me a myth love me a myth um and if you have read any of these um let me know but don't let me know yet if you hated them don't tell me now tell me later i'm gonna do a vlog um in that week where i'm reading all of these books hopefully all of these books so um yeah see you later bye